what is up guys my name is bogata please and welcome back to another video so guys in today's video i'm gonna be showing you guys how to get the best quality and fastest render time in camtasia studio 8 but before this video guys i do want to say thank you guys all for the support we just hit a, i just hit 100 subscribers yesterday and i know i've been uploading like almost two weeks i've been really busy with school and stuff because school just started for me actually because uh where i live guys your school starts a little earlier for some reason but guys 100 subscribers has been my goal on youtube for two years now and i finally hit two something two finally hit 100 subscribers guys so actually once you hit 100 subscribers guys you are actually in the top 10 percent of highest youtube channels because most channels don't make it over don't make it to 10 so i'm in the top 10 percent of people that made it which i mean if you think about that that's actually kind of crazy because there's millions of youtube channels guys and yeah so guys i do really thank you guys all for that um i know the q a didn't get uploaded um i'll work on that i just i got a ton of stuff with school going on right now guys so before without that guys let's just start the video so don't forget to drop a like and subscribe to get updated when i post new videos and let's get started all right guys so what i did was i opened up my editing software which is camtasia studio 8 so you guys can go check that out um if you want it'll be i'll have a link in the description to their website so guys the first thing i want you to do is i have this i just put in some random gameplay right here so the first thing we need to do guys when we want to render is click produce and share now guys it's going to bring up this welcome welcome to the camtasia studio uh, pr uh production wizard 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 so the first thing i'm going to do guys is right here it says how do you want to produce your video so we're going to click on this drop down and so the first thing the thing i like to do guys is actually mp4 only up to 1080p this gives you only an mp4 file and it gives you up to 1080p so you can do this in 720 or 1080. They're both pretty much the same render times, just different quality. So I'm gonna click the 1080p one. Next thing I'm gonna do guys, click next. So here's where you can name your production. So I'm just gonna name this test for, well, can't even type today guys, for YouTube. So the next thing guys is where you want this to go. So for some reason, it always puts it to my videos to upload folder, which I have deleted. So I can just change this guys by one typing in the folder exact location. So that does take a little bit. So I can just name that to upload folder or I can open this up. And then from here guys, what I can do is go to my desktop, my desktop folder where I keep everything. And then I can look I can look, scroll down, and here's my upload folder. Just click on that, double, and then just click save. So guys, next thing I'm gonna do is click finish. So once you click finish, guys, it's gonna say rendering your project, rendering your video, whatever you guys wanna call it. So guys, um, sometimes it does take a minute to actually start going, but once you get it going, guys, um, I can edit pretty much. When I tell you 